coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. Skyrise 1 inbound for Oshkosh. Aurora Flight Sciences shows off Sprint aircraft. And American Airlines steps up commitment to low carbon propulsion. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight. From electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Skyrise 1 inbound for Oshkosh. Skyrise, designer and developer of The One, has announced their first public exhibition of the pared-down, simplified-control helicopter. Skyrise proudly touts the fact that their new design only requires a, quote, single control stick and two touchscreens, end quote, in a strong turn away from the norm of complex, advanced rotorcraft. They hope that the revolutionary controls will help make the one a more accessible buy among first-time helicopter buyers, and the reception they get at AirVenture will be a good way to gauge their chances of success. The company will show up with an example of their aircraft at booth number 420, showing off the two-man cockpit, single-stick, and techie but Spartan panel. The one hews closer to the luxury car market than it does the light helo one, going for a, quote, groundbreaking, simple, ergonomic, and upscale interior, end quote, in place of some rougher, more honest craftsman styles often seen in experimental or GA aircraft. The one is supposed to kick off a, quote, new era of simpler, safer aviation, end quote, by doing away with some of the inherent complexity of most helicopters, leaning on streamlining, automation, and fly-by-wire to boil the flight controls down to their most essential elements. Skyrise will run simulators in their booth to offer visitors a chance to, quote, experience what it's like to fly the groundbreaking SkyOS Universal flight operating system, end quote. After the break... GE Aerospace Developing Hybrid Electric Engine Demonstrator For over 30 years, the massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon, www.sportplane.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. GE Aerospace Developing Hybrid Electric Engine Demonstrator GE Aerospace is busy modifying one of its large Passport aircraft engines with hybrid electric components as part of research and development work under a Phase II contract awarded by NASA's Hybrid Thermally Efficient Core project. The company has also been performing basic technical testing and analysis to lay the groundwork for later phases. The goal of the project is to supplement power during various phases of operation by embedding electric motors and generators into a high-bypass commercial turbofan. NASA crew completes first simulated Mars mission. NASA is gathering important baseline data and information that will help guide planning for the first human-crewed mission to Mars through its crew health and performance exploration analog ground-based missions. The first of three such missions in the Mars Dune Alpha habitat came to an end July 6th, when the volunteer crew emerged from the habitat after a year-long test of living and working in an isolated environment. The habitat is a 3D printed structure built to resemble an actual habitat that would be constructed and used on Mars. Training exhibition of Drones for Opposition Forces Unit is successful. Ag Eagle Aerial Systems, a provider of full-stack drone solutions based in Wichita, Kansas, announced the successful completion of a training exhibition for the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment at Fort Irwin, California. The exhibition was a display of the capabilities of Ag Eagle's EB Vision for ISR and EB TAC for multispectral imaging and mapping. 
Shell steps back from sustainable fuel ambitions, citing slimmed margins. Shell is halting its construction on one of Europe's largest biofuel manufacturing facilities, citing a weak market and renewed focus on stock returns. The Rotterdam biofuel facility will be put on pause for a while, with a reduction in contractors on site and a slowdown of activity, hopefully cutting costs as Shell's margins get thinner. Renewables and Energy Solutions Director Huibert Vigiveno said that, quote, temporarily pausing on-site construction now will allow us to assess the most commercial way forward for the project, end quote. Well, that's it for today's Next Gen Minute. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Aurora Flight Sciences shows off Sprint Aircraft. Aurora Flight Sciences has been chosen to continue onwards designing and developing its Speed and Runway Independent Technologies, or SPRINT, X-Plane demonstration project. The original program entered Phase 1 in December 2023, promising to develop a familiar silhouette to B-2 and F-117 enjoyers that could offer the commissioning entity, DARPA, a low-drag, fin-and-wing demonstrator sporting a pancake fuselage and blended wing design. It's an interesting way to tackle the end goal of the Sprint program, since other entries competing for the gold have gone with a very different approach to the vertical takeoff problem. Aurora's design doesn't sport anything close to other companies' teardrop shape and multi-rotor layout. Instead, Aurora seems to believe they can equip the stealthy-looking aircraft with a series of lift fans in the body of the aircraft itself. The final completed prototype is supposed to meet or surpass original DARPA program goals, following a short takeoff vertical landing UAV that can serve as the basis of future crewed craft. Larry Wersing, VP of Aircraft Development at Aurora Flight Sciences, said, quote, Aurora and Boeing bring relevant expertise in blended wing body platforms, high-speed VTOL configurations, and military aircraft development, end quote. After these messages, American Airlines steps up commitment to low carbon propulsion. I think it's a very important thing to share the joy and love of flying. Our customers fly to remote places. They use our products to go places that are difficult to get to. Hearts has been an excellent partner for Whip Air, uh, just in terms of your product support as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demands. And it is that shared experience and the joy of flying that brings us all back and charges all of our batteries up. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. American Airlines steps up commitment to low carbon propulsion. American Airlines is increasing its investment in novel engine technology to achieve its aggressive goal of net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. The company has entered into a conditional purchase agreement for 100 zero avia engines powered by hydrogen electric fuel cells. The fuel cells generate electricity to power electric motors, which turn the propellers and run aircraft electrical systems, and the engines are intended to power regional turboprops and jets with zero emissions except water vapor. Zero Avia, based in Everett, Washington, is currently flight testing a prototype for a 20C aircraft and is in the design phase of a larger engine that could be used on regional turboprops like the de Havilland Dash 8, ATR-4272, or a Bombardier CJ-700. American operates the latter aircraft on some regional routes. Zero Avia founder and CEO Val Mifkatov said, quote, In signing this purchase agreement and furthering its investment, American is supporting our mission of innovation for clean aircraft propulsion, and it is a good signal that Zero Avia is delivering on our technology roadmap. 
The solutions that can serve the largest airlines are within reach, and the clean future of flight is coming." End quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.